Hello everyone. In this presentation, I will give you historical and architectural information about Fenari Isa Mosque. In this presentation, we will start with a brief introduction first. Then we will examine the history of the mosque as the Byzantine period and the period of the Ottoman period and the Republic. After that, we will follow the artistic and architectural structure of the mosque by taking the north and south region separately. The Fenari Isa Mosque was a building as an Orthodox church in the Byzantine time. It was converted into a mosque after the Turkish occupation of Istanbul. Currently, this structure is located in the borders of Turkey in Fatih district of Istanbul province and it is still used as a mosque. The current detailed location of the mosque is shown on the map in this image. The history of the building passed through two different imperial ages. This structure was originally planned as a monastery church by Constantinos Lips during the Byzantine period during the Emperor Sixth Leon. This monastery was offered to the public under the name of Moni to Libos in June 907. It is known that this monastery was built on the ruins of another monastery dating from the 6th century. It is also known that it was used as a hospital during the Byzantine times. Laterly, Empress Theodora built another church in the south of this building. In this way, the church consists of two parts, north which was first built and south which was first built which was later built. Moreover, it is known that the leading member of the Paleologos dynasties were buried in the southern church section. After the Ottoman conquest of Istanbul in 1453, this church was converted into a mosque between the years of 1497 and 1498 by Fenerizade Aladdin Ali bin Yusuf. The name of Isa, which is coming from the name of the master of the madrasa, was given to the mosque and the name of the mosque was named as Fenari Isa Mosque. Several changes and additions were made while this, bu this building was converted into a mosque. The most important of this is uh, the minaret added. After the declaration of the Republic in Turkey, 22 sarcophagi, I mean graves, were found in the excavation carried out in the mosque. Fenari Isa Mosque, which is also known as the Lips Monastery, still serves as a mosque. Another feature of the mosque that attracts attention after its history is its architecture and arts. Speaking of its heart story, we said that the mosque consists of two parts, north and south. In this picture, the plan of the south and north part of the building is clearly visible. The areas covered with black shows the first part, the north part. The part scanned with the thick line shows the south part which was made later. The thinly scanned section, namely the lower and the left section on the map, are additions that by, made by in the Byzantine times. Dotted part are additions made by the Turks. We see that these plugins are not very much. The north part of the structure, which is constructed first, was built in a slightly different structure from the architecture of the Byzantine period. Church has five columns, four corners, and the middle of the building. Also, it has three semi-domes. The other characteristic feature of the church that is, it has four small chapels on all four sides of domes. It is not possible to encounter this feature in any other Byzantine, Byzantine church. 
In the picture, we can see the dome and interior of the North Church. Moreover, North Structure was built with a closed Greek cross plan. All units are covered with walls except for the dome in center. The walls are church work built by combining a thick layer of mortar of brick small hard stone blocks which is the typical wall stru structure style of the 10th century Byzantine architecture. In this picture on the, on the slide we can see the interior of the North Church. So church was built using unqualified bricks from the wall of the church and covered with qualified bricks because of the economical problems of age. Furthermore, it is one of the uncommon structures that are not built with a closed group crease. Uh, Greek cross plan type. Also, there is a vaulted ambulatorium, it means surrounding corridor in U form. This photo shows the dome of the Saw Church. As we seen in the figures on the photos, exterior walls are paved with bricks and stones. Moreover, decorations are intense in the Seoul church and especially in the main apse of the church. As seen in the pictures, exterior visuals are provided with zigzags, asymmetric designs, and motifs with specially shaped bricks. The photo on the left, the Byzantine ruins removed from the church during excavation. These ruins are exhibited in the Istanbul Archaeology Museum. Also in the photo on the right we can see the, one of the most important historical artifacts of the church, the wall mosaic depicting Saint Edvodka from the times when the Fenari Isa Mosque was used as a church. It is known to be century old work. The work is currently on display at Istanbul Archaeology Museum. All in all, Fenari Isa Mosque, also called as the Constantine Lips Monastery, was originally built as a church and later converted into a madrasa and mosque. It is one of the pioneers of the Middle and Late Byzantine architecture and it is important monument in terms of Istanbul identity. Despite all the fires and the wars it has undergone, it still has architectural features that reflect its period, but it's also important construction to be examined from an archaeological point of view. Thank you for listening.